guys and welcome to episode 3 of Battles and World 101 and uh, in uh, today's episode we're going to be talking about the block dispensers I'm going to try to teach you everything I know about it and uh, we're going to see a few examples of uh, things that can be done with it so let's get started and yeah you'll notice that uh, I have a voice too so now I'm going to try to make my videos with uh, voice it's going to be hopefully more it's for you to understand, and I hope you wouldn't mind too much my French accent and the blanks I'll probably make when I'll be looking for my words. Anyway, so the recipe includes most stone, stone and redstone with this pattern, and uh, the black dispenser. Basically, it's uh, the same thing of, uh, as uh, the vanilla dispenser, except that uh, it will place blocks and not spit them out uh, as items. And uh, they have uh, nine slots in their inventory, and they will display uh, blocks one after the other sequentially. And the next block to be placed is the one with the green square around it. So if you connect it with a torch and uh, send a signal, it will change a block. Pretty cool. You can use it to plant uh, seeds hemp seeds, the reed and sapling which is useful in farms and actually you can use it to place almost every block uh, in minecraft there's a few examples here uh, you can see minecarts, rail, cakes, later, uh, redstone, the layers uh, detector, well uh, almost everything you can also place uh, another dispenser with it, but uh, swallowing, it, swallowing it will uh, destroy uh, its content, so that's not something you can do with it. Uh, there's a few exceptions. Uh, the ice, the lapis, coal, the redstone and diamond, or the farmland, the monster spawner, the bedrock, the fire, the beds, the signs, the doors, the nether portal thing and the half slabs. When you connect it, you won't get the ice, you will get the regular ore, but you're gonna get one uh, lapis called redstone and diamond. Uh, farmland will turn into dirt. You can get spawners and bedrock and fire and bed. You can swallow signs and doors, but uh, activating them will uh, only spit them out uh, as items. So you can place them with dispensers. And you'll only get the uh, one half slab because you can't uh, pick up the full slab. And the block dispenser only get uh, one of each item, so you can't have the two of them. Uh, the item will be spit out, except the torch, but the uh, amp, uh, the buckets, the painting, the water wheel, and the arrow and snow will be shot uh, like with a regular dispenser. You can use it to place pistons, but uh, the pistons will be activated by the same signal, no matter how you connect the dispensers. And one useful trick is that if you connect it with uh, the layer, the piston will be placed, but won't be swallowed by the dispenser. Only the piston will retract. And you should also know that the piston placement will be according to the dispenser placement. So if the dispenser is facing up, the pistons will be facing up, uh, etc. Let's see how to connect the dispenser well obviously with just a redstone wire with a redstone torch under it uh, from a, a block right behind even if there is no block above and from the block above it and also with the layer connected uh, to the block right above the dispenser You can also place redstone on top of it. Uh, you can see that this one is connected too because, uh, well, same rule as here. But if I move the redstone wire, only this one gets connected. And to place redstone on top of uh, on top of the dispensers, you just need to 
aim the block directly above it like that. To connect several dispensers, if they're stacked up, you can just place uh, the layer and uh, all of them will be connected. Now let's see some examples of things that can be done. The most obvious one is uh, the bridge or the door. Just like that. You can use them as flute gates, but uh, you can do that with pistons who are cheaper. They can be used to stop clocks by placing and removing the redstone because sometimes clocks can be buggy when you log out, even if now with the joint tables there's no more problem with that. You can use them to make some monostable circuits, which means that you'll get uh, only a pulse from a lever, so it will act like a, a button. When you activate it, you get a signal. And when you deactivate it, you get nothing. That's kind of easy to do. You just make your main line and uh, connect it to a torch with a small delay. You can choose the, the delay, the shorter, the shorter pulse you get. But you can also do that with pistons, actually. Just the same thing. Place a, a block. The redstone will go through the block if it's here, and it won't when it is not. And actually, you can do that with just uh, the layer and uh, two redstone torch, just like that. Power the block, and uh, as long as this block is connected, there has to be a signal. Let's see. Just a small one. You can use uh, the dispenser also to place block and make them move with pistons. That's what I use in my self-building house. Just connect your button to the dispenser and delay the signal to the piston. So it will place the block, move it with the piston. The dispenser will try to swallow it, but uh, it won't be anymore. You can also use that to close your nether portal because sometimes the noise can be pretty annoying so you just use it to remove the obsidian block. You can use it to empty minecarts. You just need to swallow it and uh, its content will uh, flow out. So I just put some water and the uh, upper below. And uh, you get the items. You can also use the dispenser to get a lot of squids. Let's get rid of them. Anyway, you can use it to move items uh, over eight blocks. So more convenient than uh, water, but that's quite expensive. So you just throw the block in front of the second dispenser. It won't work with uh, glass though, because uh, the items will pop up above, but that's just to show you how it works. It's delayed and you'll see the blocks moving. So. Let's put some solid block, like a stone above it, and it's gonna work. can see there's nothing here. I'll throw my glowstone. Just wait a little bit. And there you go. 
that's quite expensive, so I'm not sure it's going to be well used, but uh, I'm trying to share everything I know, told you. Anyway, you can also use this same concept to move uh, items uh, vertically. Actually, that's uh, an idea of a uh, lifter, and uh, the design is by Glocks. He made it much more compact and easy to connect, so all you need is uh, a turntable to send a, a signal with a torch on it. And what it will do is that uh, it will do the same thing as uh, the horizontal oh, bone strain. Blocks will be placed one after the other. So if I, if I draw item in it, fail. Items will get up there. Shut it off, it's kind of noisy. So, the design can be found on the forum, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, you can also use the dispenser to make a flip-flop, so you'll get uh, an on and off signal every time you press the button. All you need is uh, the dispenser with a solid block and uh, one block of glass. So let's make one to show you. Place one torch under it. One solid block and one block of glass. You connect it to a torch right here. You connect that to a button. And you'll get the output here. So let's put a light block if I have some. The dispenser will switch the block, and when it's a uh, glass block, the current won't pass through. And with the solid block, you'll get. So that's uh, really useful for elevators. If you're making one, all you need to do is uh, that, and uh, connect your buttons on your different floors to that torch, and uh, you can make your elevator go up and down with a button, and only four blocks. This can be used to uh, have uh, some sort of uh, memory or counter. Uh, for example, in here I have a, a signal for only nine pulse. So when the when it will receive a signal, it will change the blocks one after the other until it reaches the solid block. and you'll get the signal. That's what I used in uh, my donut factory actually to turn the the donuts into full food every 27 cycle. I used uh, this simple uh, concept and uh, every 9 pulse it sends a signal to another dispenser a memory with uh, 3 block. So after 3 cycles of this one, 9 times 3, 27, I'll get uh, the youngest run in the cauldron. Anyway, another use of the dispenser is that you can uh, make some uh, magic uh, changing room, just like that. That's stone. And uh, that's full. Etc, etc. You can make the floor too, but uh, I was too lazy to do it. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can. Uh, all I did uh, for that is just connect all of the dispenser. That's connecting the two on the bottom, and the third is connected from above, and the roof 
is connected uh, by that. And uh, if you want to make a floor too, you'll have to connect it from uh, under with the torch. Anyway, uh, you can use this uh, same uh, compact, same uh, design, sorry, to make uh, some sort of changing walls. For instance, that's just a wall, and uh, now that's the right way. Um, 2 plus light, etc. Et that's uh, something you can do with pistons too, but uh, with this one it's much more easy to switch between uh, 9 different blocks, even 10 if you can, the one already in it. And uh, that's it for today. Uh, the download uh, for the map will be in the description. Same as for the link for the mod, but uh, I guess you already know it, otherwise we wouldn't be watching this video. Anyway, I hope my accent wasn't too bad and you still got uh, most of the thing I told you, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and see you soon. Bye-bye.